Hello, hello. Welcome in, Gems. This is Sapphire, and today we are going to be talking about how you can become a 2D VTuber. I'm going to go over the programs and the software needed in order to become a 2D VTuber, and this video is just going to be a quick explanation, but if you are interested in seeing how to make one from start to finish, I am working on a long tutorial series that will be released sometime soon in the future, so go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're interested. Without further ado, let's get started on talking about how you can become a 2D VTuber. Okay, so first thing is first, obviously you can see I'm using a 3D model right now. That's because I'm working on my 2D version. This is her, this is Sapphire, my channel mascot. And so the first thing you're gonna need is an art program. If you are an artist, great, you already know, choose your weapon of choice. There's things like Paint Tool Sci, there's things like Photoshop, there's all sorts of options out there. Choose your desired art program and work on a model. For those who don't have any art experience, you might wanna hire a character artist or commission someone to do this type of work for you. Once you get an art program, you're going to be separating pretty much everything into very specific layers. Again, I'll get more into this in my tutorial series when I start the long one. Again, this is a quick explanation of how becoming a 2D VTuber actually works. So first you would end up making a model with very separate pieces, kind of like you see here. Everything is separated. This is actually an old version as well right now, uh, but everything is separated. Everything is sort of its own piece. Again, this will all be explained in my tutorial series but let's hop over to the next step. The next thing on the list is after you get your model and your drawing already, then you're going to want to do something that's called rigging. So Live 2D Cubism is a really great option. I'm not sure of other options. I'm going to tell you throughout this tutorial what worked for me. I'm not sure about other things, but so I use Photoshop for my drawing and I use Live 2D Cubism to rig up my model. So you can download a trial version. As you can see, I'll drop this link down below as well if you're interested. The trial version is out for 42 days. So if you're going to make a model and you don't want to pay extra money for this program, I would highly recommend that once you start the trial, make sure you're really dedicated because when I started the trial, I was not quite dedicated yet. I just wanted to check out the program and I regretted it because then I didn't really get full use of my 40 42 day free trial. Now I pay for the program monthly. There's different options. You can play, pay yearly, pay monthly. Right now I pay monthly. I think around $20 a month, $20 USD. It's different currency uh, for them. But yeah, so Live 2D Cubism is is an awesome option. I really like it. I'm going to be using a ton of this program in the future. There'll be tons of tutorials on this channel for this program. I've really, really enjoyed this. And there's not that many great tutorials out there, which is why I'm doing this whole series, because there's not a lot of information out there. And I want to make that information available to you guys, because I think this technology is super cool. And you'll see what I mean by the end of this video when I show you what I've done so far with the model that I am working on rigging. So basically, download Live 2D. Once you get into Live 2D, this is what Live 2D looks like. I have my model already loaded in. Again, I'll be going over this in future tutorials, but I started doing some rigging already, and as you can see, this is my character looking around. I'm going to be doing each of the hair pieces as individual strands as well. Right now, I'm still in the middle of working on it. This is her head rotating. Cheeks, I am also still working on as well. For eyes, eyes open and close. That's another thing. Again, this process is called rigging, so these are all, there's a whole new set of vocabulary and things to learn, and trust me, if you know how to do art, but you have no idea how to rig, it's very possible to learn how to rig. It took me like two to three days to learn how to rig. I'm still learning a lot. It's been an awesome journey. It's totally been worth it. It's been very frustrating. There's been a lot of challenges and times where I've wanted to stop and give up, but I didn't stop. I kept going and now I'm finally starting to understand everything. I'm really starting to put those puzzle pieces together and I believe that you can too. So there's resources out there. Like I said, there's not a whole lot, but I'm planning to make more content for you guys here on YouTube and hopefully we can learn how to work this program together. So again, Live 2D is a great program to start rigging. And again, I will go over all of that in the tutorial series that I'll be working on in the future. But again, this is a quick explanation of how you can become a 2D VTuber or what the process actually looks like. So next, the thing you're going to want to do is get a program that's going to be able to stream your Live 2D model into the platform you are either recording on for YouTube or streaming on if you plan on doing streaming. Depending on YouTube or stream, it doesn't matter. PRPR Live will work for both if you're using a stream platform like Streamlabs or OBS to record your YouTube videos. So again, it will work for both. So I like PRPR Live. It's my favorite option. Again, I don't know about other options. I'm telling you what I use and this is what I think works well. So once you download PRPR Live, go ahead and launch it. This is how good you could get your character to eventually look if you're 
that good at rigging, it's very possible if you put in the time and the energy. So this is what the program looks like. The UI is very nice. Again, I'll be making a tutorial on how to run through this program. If it looks intimidating, don't worry, it's not. You just got to click some buttons, be ready to go. So Live 2D, I'm going to upload. Actually, I have both my models in here, so I'll show you two versions. So this is a test version. This is not a model I made. Uh, basically, once you load your model in, you can go to capturing with your camera. And as long as you have a webcam, it will capture your face movement. So being a 2D VTuber, you are going to want to have a webcam because it's what tracks your face. I have a simple webcam. Again, I'll link that down below. You don't have to buy anything too crazy expensive, but the webcam is what is tracking me blinking right now, me opening my mouth, me raising my eyebrows, everything. So again, this is really, really cool. I like it a lot. It also tracks me moving back and forth. I'm not sure if there's anything that supports full body for live 2d models yet i still have to look into it but i will let you guys know if i find anything and let me show you what i worked on so far i am not completely done i am totally still in the process of working on everything for my model but this is where i've gotten so far i have worked a lot on the eyebrows to get a lot of heavy expression as you can see the lips don't really work yet but i have other things working and i have the irises moving around i got my eyebrows working and it is blinking real time so when i blink in real life that's when my avatar is blinking so again it's super duper cool i'm going to be doing tutorials that walks you through all my process from A to Z. I'll be re-rigging this character to show you how the process works. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, now let's hop over to our last and final step. Okay, so we are on our last step. The next thing you want to do is download a program like OBS or Streamlabs. I use Streamlabs. Again, I will drop down a link below for Streamlabs. This is going to allow you to stream out to your desired platform. I stream to Twitch. You can also record with Streamlabs YouTube videos. So again, and if you want to be do YouTube videos as far as content, it could be used for both streaming and for YouTube videos. So again, I'll drop a link down below for Streamlabs. This is what the program looks like once you get, get it downloaded. Also, if your avatar ever stops tracking your face for some reason, just unplug and replug your camera. Usually that's a quick solution for that, at least most of the time. Anyways, once you get into Streamlabs, you can create a new scene. I'm just going to create a new scene. And I'm going to click plus, and I'm going to add a game capture. And then I will click add new source and I will go to specific window and then I will select PRPR live. And then you, it's very important that you select this allow transparency box. I'm going to click done. I'm just going to adjust this window a, bit, a little bit here. I'm going to open PRPR live again. This background you can get rid of by clicking disable. So to show you that this is working, I'm going to add another new source. I'm going to do display capture. I'm going to add my tablet. And again, since this is on top, I can't see my VTuber. Make sure that your game capture is on top. So now it is going to overlay anything as long as you have it on the lower layer below. And to get rid of those side tabs, what you do is you click this X and it will be gone. So that's how you become a 2D VTuber. Again, this model I'm using right now is not mine. The one I showed you a little bit earlier is the one I'm working on and there will be a full tutorial series. So again, if you would like to figure out how to make a 2D VTuber like this and you want to bear with me and you're an artist, even if you're not an artist and you just want to try it out, again, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. It was awesome. I hope you found this tutorial valuable so you can see sort of what the process looks like. How do I become a 2D VTuber? My next video is going to be on 2D VTubers versus 3D VTubers. Which should you choose? Why should you choose it? So I will talk about that in the next video. And again, if you are interested in becoming a 3D VTuber, which takes a lot less time, I would say, than becoming a 2D VTuber, go ahead and click that little pop-up card above to my how to become a VTuber video. That one addresses how to become a 3D VTuber. That is it for this video. If you want to catch me live or ask me questions about any of my tutorials or anything at all in general, you can catch me over at twitch.tv slash sapphire on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 2 p.m. Mountain Time. Thank you so much and have a lovely day. Goodbye.